Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flow Lab tutorial. Uh, we're going to continue working on our Pong clone game. And in this tutorial, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add a sound effect to the ball so that when it hits any of the surfaces, it uh, fires off. And we're going to work on um, accelerating the ball so that it gets faster over time uh, to increase challenge and, of course, to make the game more fun. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and select the ball. Go to Edit and behaviors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bundle up this uh, collection here just so it's a little easier to manage. So the way that you do that is you come down here to the bottom left and you click on this third icon here which is the uh, select icon. Then you drag, you click and drag a box around the entire group and then you get this option over here that says bundle. And boom, there you go. Uh, you click on it, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, do this, and we'll just call it, uh, let's see, let's just call it, let's just call it movement, and click OK. All right. Um, whenever you want to get back inside the bundle, you can just click on it, choose open bundle, and there you go. Um, and then it might not be obvious, but you click on the little checkbox again, and that will close it. I'm not sure why it moves it, but... It looks like it does. Okay, so next, um, we're gonna go over here to the triggers. We're gonna go to a collision trigger so that every time it collides with something, it fires off. And then we're gonna go down here to components and we're gonna choose sound. Um, that's pretty much it other than choosing um, the sound. So we'll go from the hit output to the play. Just put that up here. And if you go ahead and click on it, you can do choose sound. Um, now I have the uh, paid educational version of um, Flow Lab, so that gives you some extra bells and whistles, and I will uh, I will show that. If you if you have the free version, you're going to be limited to effects and music. Um, and so we can go here to effects, and you'll see that you've got all these different uh, categories here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's just try 8-bit. And then I'll go ahead and I'll just do, um, I'll try this uh, beep one here. Actually, no, I'll go here and I'll do the uh, impact. So you've got a whole bunch here. You can just uh, click on it. There you go. Try it. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with uh, this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Click on that one there. Good. You have a volume uh, slider here, and you have a loop option. Um, the other option that you have here is if you know of a MP3 that is hosted on a, another website, you can copy and paste the address right here in this text box, and that'll work as well. Um, all right, so let's press OK, and then press Play. OK. And so you can see that works. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is if you do have the um, paid version and you can upload your own sound effects, um, here's how you do it. Um, so you've got the upload options here. Um, and so one source that I really like for uh, free and legal uh, game assets is opengameart.org. They're an awesome organization. You simply come up here to browse. You've got all your different art assets, music, sound effects. Uh, so I'm going to go here to sound effects. Um, anything you find, you can just go ahead and uh, uh, click on play and try it out. Um, so I'm going to come over here to search and I'm going to type in uh, ping pong. Press return and you've got um, a couple different ones here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try this first one here. So if you click on it, you can find out a little bit about the um, sound. Down here at the bottom in blue, you'll see the link for the file. Um, oftentimes it is a zip file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads folder. And it is a zip file, so you need to uh, double click it to open it up. And you go inside and you will see this one has three files. Uh, so these are called aug files. Aug, um, they're called aug vorbis files. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I can, you know, press play, and I should be able to listen to them. 
Okay, I'm not sure why it's not playing right now, but it isn't. Um, okay, so here's how I upload it. Just go back to FlowLab, go to Upload. And there you go, you can hear that. And that's kind of more of a, a classic um, Pong 8-bit game. Um, any sound effects that you have uploaded should show up inside this folder right here. And so you can see that there. If I do upload a second file, I'll just show you that. So if I upload um, this one here, try that. And I can go here and um, you can see So now I've got two that I can choose from and they're just they're in the library and I'm going to go ahead and choose the first one. So I've clicked on it. You can see the title shows up here as that one is selected. I'll click on OK um, and I'll click on OK. All right. I'll press play. All right. Um, so that sounds good. It <laughs> also sounds a little bit like a... Um, EKG or something like that in a hospital. So I don't know, I might change that. That might get annoying. All right, so we're pretty good there. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and um, I think we're gonna go ahead and make the ball uh, accelerate. So since I'm coming up at uh, about seven minutes on this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here and I'll make the, uh, I'll make the next video about accelerating the ball. I will see you then.